Hipping the throngs of chaos in Kabul. These were among the 200 French nationals and Afghans evacuated to safety on Thursday evening. Now the third transport flight to return to France since the takeover by the Taliban. Several other countries have also joined evacuation efforts, with a squadron of planes continuously departing Kabul's tarmac. Germany has evacuated 500 people, the United Kingdom more than 2,000, while the United States has airlifted over 7,000 people since Saturday. Others such as Italy, Spain, the Netherlands and Turkey have also added their support. In Afghanistan's capital, thousands are still trying in desperation to reach the airport and flee the country, but many are being turned away at Taliban checkpoints. In a bid to secure the airport and speed up departures, nearly 6,000 US soldiers have now been deployed and reinforcements are set to arrive in the coming days. This increase is reflective of both a ramp up of aircraft and airlift capability, faster processing of evacuees, and greater information and fidelity in reporting. The United States said it was ready to further increase air rotations, hoping to ease pressure on current flights. Some have been packed, transporting over 600 desperate Afghans at a time. As many as 10,000 US citizens are still said to be in Kabul, as well as thousands of Afghans who have worked with US forces.